So happy Halloween, everybody. Look at this crazy stuff here in Minnesota. Yucky yuck. All right, so video of these two adorable cutie pies. And this is their information. They're both females. At this age, they're 23 and a half weeks old. I would assume that they're about 80% finished growing. So if you add another 20% growth, that would put them to getting around 10 pounds. I doubt they'd go over 12 is my guess. That's called a guess, people. But they, um, <clears throat> so Rosie has the less, the smaller white stripe on her and Ruby has more white. Ruby does have a uh, an umbilical hernia, which is not a health issue, but they usually stitch that closed at the time of spay surgery. And that just costs a little bit more um, money. And then also, uh, I'm sorry, it's Ruby. I'm sorry, oh, I'm gonna get this crazy. Ruby has the more white. Ruby has the umbilical hernia. Ruby, is more shy she's the one with the big white foot as well and um but she is shy and they are you know 100 percent sisters and all that good stuff and i'll see if they're <laughs> you guys even gonna let me video you probably not no anyway so here this is um rosie rosie's little white markings and then this is Ruby. Ruby's got quite a bit of white on her. <laughs> they um, have really a deep, deep dark red. They're so pretty. Here, let me get over here. Yeah. Um, not trained at all. They are just, uh, you know, get to act like they're at doggy daycare every day and get to play with each other. Um, they can be separated if that's the case. Um, I, I got these from a friend, got them from a breeder, and I was going to use them for breeding um, cavapoos, but um, I think they're just going to be a little bit too small for me and just might not be going in that direction. Or I can only really afford to keep one of them. And so that would be, I would keep this, this one here with the less white on her. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Here's just the one right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so pretty. And they're very sweet. They used to be being picked up and carried around <clears throat> but they're not used to you know going anywhere if um ruby is separated from rosie she does get quite a bit she does get quite shy Nidito. itty bitty 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 both parents were small as well and they seem to keep getting a, a darker red as they mature it's so pretty so again not trained at all that means not potty trained they don't haven't been taught sit or stay or anything like that. Um, they do just have piddle pads in their play pens that they go potty on, but that doesn't mean that they're trained to piddle pads at all. Uh, it means they've been, oh, are you gonna go potty, honey? Wait, just means they've been accustomed to them. Doesn't mean they're trained to them. Super portable babies. I can carry still both of them in one arm. <laughs> I 
Because they, they've had their fourth vaccinations. They could use a, a updated um, vet exam. They had one when they were like seven, eight weeks old, something like that. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, you so Petey? You're Petey girl? Mm-hmm, I told you, Petey girl. And their vet exams turned out were, were fine. But now that they're older, they should probably get a, a fresh one. Oh, you schmucked me. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're sweet, too. They really love to cuddle. Whoops. Are you in there? Are you in there? Are you in there? Mm -hmm. Who's coming? Come here. So they, they actually get into a position to pick them up. <laughs> you gonna come? You gonna come? Let me pick you up. Okay, yeah. How about you? 